Hello and uh, welcome to the video for this uh, Seiko 5 men's wristwatch or unisex, I'm sure it referred to the lady rather nicely. This is the 7S26 automatic Seiko 5 21 jewel in black dial with a guilloche as you can see, it's rather pleasant with a date and day window and a four o'clock crown and this is in full stainless steel with a strap that looks like it's uh, not really going to fit or be changed out for anything else so it's strap and watch uh, for probably most of its life with um, a standard uh, Seiko 5 bracelet which tapers down quite nicely and there are some spare lugs uh, my six and three quarter inch wrist and it takes it probably up to about seven and a, and a bit so if you've got great lumpy wrists it's not going to be for you uh, this is a really nice piece actually. I um, enjoy wearing this but I've got quite a few watches and I think it's about time we uh, had a bit of a clear out so um, it'd be nice for someone else to have this. Could do with a slight clean little bit of uh, wear and tear on the uh, inner the clasp there. The uh, movement's been spot on. It's got a exhibition case back and it's uh, keeping time really well. Uh, I think I had it on my little sort of phone based timographer and it's not much more than uh, plus or minus 10 seconds a day beating at 21,600 hertz uh, so you can see there's a pleasant sweep to that uh, red seconds hand there with sword hands there is some loom I think the loom's okay but again a watch of this sort of age is uh, going to loom up very briefly you know nothing more than about 10 minutes or so of loom and um i think the uh seiko is applied there on the dial let's um put out the crown the thing with these they do have a very small crown so they're quite fiddly but that does make it rather nice for uh wearing if you've got a big crown it sticks in your back of your hand if you've got a small crown it's uh rather nice so rather more comfortable uh, there is some loom pips on the outer edge there's a, uh, a, a inner uh, very precise looking tenth or fifth of a seconds on the inside of that uh, dial there apologies this is going to bore you stiff <laughs> bore you senseless but uh, it does give the potential buyer a good idea of what the watch is like so the bracelet's um, got a little bit of uh, movement in it and there is I think a little bit of uh, I think this side here is a little bit uh, of a link which just there which is slightly bent but if you're handy with um, pliers and things you can get that a bit better but really it's uh, pretty damn good and the watch face and glass being mineral glass is actually very tidy it's a really nice looking watch the uh, measurements I'll just bring these uh, digital calipers in. So it's a pretty small watch actually. It wears really nicely. It's one of my favourites actually, but uh, got some new ones coming in. 37 on the um, case diameter, and the width, the height of the watch is just under 11 at 10.8. And you'll see the uh, lugs drop very nicely straight down so if you've got pretty small wrist this actually makes a nice automatic Seiko and I've had quite a few Seiko 5s 43.4 is the lug to lug length it does wear really nicely I shall pop it on my wrist and demonstrate Whip off this uh, Casio and uh, we'll pop this one on. So, my wrist is six and three quarters, it's sized. There is a box, can't remember if there's any paperwork for it in the box. There is a Seiko box with a cushion and it's in pretty good order. So, that is how it looks on a six and three quarter inch wrist. As you can appreciate, that looks quite a nice timepiece. Doesn't touch loose on my wrist there, but uh, okay, it's the older seven 
S26 movement, but they're pretty tried and tested and uh, they work well. Uh, well. Is there much more to talk about? So it's probably a good, um, the watch head's like 9 out of 10. And the case back's unmarked, well, relatively unmarked. I mean, it's going to have some wear and tear, but uh, so I should have popped the strap off. But, you, you know, you can see that's just a standard exhibition case back on a 7S26. But it's got some weight. It's a little bit heavier than your average Seiko 5. And it's got uh, a nice finish. Let's grab my other uh, Seiko 5 out. I've got three, but uh, this one is a um, actually my favourite. But this one has been modified. It's got a NH36 movement in it, so it's uh, got a slightly um, uh, well, it's better for it has winding and hacking, whereas this one doesn't hack or wind. It's just a straightforward automatic watch. So if let's have a look at the side by side comparison. Mm. Excuse the amateurish standard of this video but uh, this one has got a slightly less higher grade bracelet in my opinion and the watch head is uh, a bit um, lighter on this one as well but this one is slightly heavier if you prefer a slightly heavier watch I say heavier it's about 130 120 grams I expect something like that and the uh, window for the day and date is in black as well which is quite nice whereas on most Seiko 5s it's white but this one is framed on the white on the left the blue one see it's framed and it but it's in white this one's not framed and it is in color just that you appreciate that it's got a nice shot of it can't quite recall what the model number is of this watch you can dig out the box but uh, it is what it is as they say whatever that means and anyway there we are i'll leave you with that shot thanks very much for watching Bye-bye.